my lovely Gemini. Welcome to your reading for May 2024. This is a general reading for you, Gemini. It's a reading for Gemini, Sun, Rising and Moon sign. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there. Apologies for the lateness of this reading this month. <clears throat> I've had the flu. I'm just getting back on board. So... <clears throat> Let's get started with your reading, your channeled message. In fact, clean my throat, excuse me. Your channeled message is there's a lot to do with going with the flow. There's a lot to do with just riding the waves. I feel like there's a there's a a wave, what vision do I get here with your channeled message? There's a wave that's coming up behind you and it's going to pick you up and you're going to be riding that crest of the wave. I feel like there is, um, you know, that to me is growth. Here's the wave, you know, you're here and here's the wave coming up behind you and up you go. You're, you're being picked up. You're soaring the heights. There is growth here. There's growth in many aspects of your, of your life. Could be relationships. Could be career. It could be personal, personal growth to do with you. There's tremendous potential that's coming up here around you. It's also about um, going with the flow of events, what, going with the flow of your thoughts going with the flow of um, actions that you're taking, going with the flow of what you want to put in place. There's, there's you know, when a, when a wave comes up, that's expansive, isn't it? It's expansion. So to me, there's there it is going to be a month of expansion for you, my lovely Gemini. <clears throat> filled with potential, filled with potential. I like it. And I don't even feel like you've got a body a body board or a surfboard or any floating device to help you through that. You are becoming one with that flow, with that water. It's interesting. I like that. I'm going to uh, draw a card now from my um, Divine Animal Oracle deck. Let's have a look at what your totem is for this for this um, this month of May. Let's have a look, which is interesting. So you've got two. I'm going to give you two. You've got the sea turtle. Doesn't surprise me. Look at that. That riding the back of the sea turtle. That's like riding the crest of a wave, isn't it? It's like okay, I'm I'm riding that crest of a wave. I'm going with the flow. Sea turtles follow the currents. They don't exude, ex, um, no, not exude. They don't um, use up their energy reserves flow, um, riding against the currents. They use the currents to get to where they're going. They know where the currents are going at particular times of the year and they utilize that. So there's minimal effort. And here you are on top of that sea turtle. It's like being on top of the crest of a wave and just going with the flow, moving forward. There's tranquility here. There's abundance beneath that, beneath the surface. There's abundance there for you. So it's about finding that abundance. What is it for you? Is it uh, something you're building? Is it work? Is it finances that you're accumulating? And what relationships? What is it that's coming in around you? The other one that you've got, so you've got the sea turtle, but as well as the sea turtle, you've got a whole lot of sea life. You've got a whole lot of fish and, you know, other little sea turtles as well. Oh, this is a person to dive. I've never noticed that before. Someone diving beneath the surface. So you're going beneath the surface. You're taking that deep dive. Isn't that interesting? I've never noticed that. That really stood out for me. Then you've also got the gorilla, which is strength. A gorilla is strong. There's strength and determination here, the silverback gorilla, but it's about peace. It's not about needing to utilise that strength. 
It's about being at peace with, with the strength you know you have, the direction you want to go in, seeing the far horizon, seeing the potential, observing it, meditating on it. It's not about using brute force here this month, my lovely Gemini. It's about seeing the potential in things, allowing things to come to you. I like that. Let's create your Celtic cross, my lovely Gemini. <clears throat> Let's see what that is. Mm. Okay. Yeah, there's... I like it. Just give me a minute to create this for you. Hmm. I love this, Gemin my lovely Gemini. I love this for you. I love this for you. What a great spread for the month of May. Such success. It's not about using brute force. It's not about forcing the issue. It's not about pushing forward. This is what I want and this is what I'm going to have. It's about let's just use the water. Let's flow with this. Let's see what changes are coming about for you. Let's see. Okay, so what we've got here, so this is where you're at. You've got the three, you've got the four of cups. You've got these, this is what you've achieved. This is how you're liked. This is how you're perceived by people. This is, this is you and what you've achieved so far, the changes you've made so far. But... You're never resting. You're never resting. This, this. You're thinking about building something new. Is it a business? Is it a relationship? Is it a house? Is it a promotion? Is it a, building on your personal strength? Meditation, exploring the spiritual. What is it for you? What ideas, what thoughts do you have? It's time now to give that force, give that energy. Allow the crest of the wave, allow the force of the water to come in and push you and drive you. And that's your intuition as well, my lovely Gemini. Don't forget, that's your intuition as well. You've also got the Five of Cups. The Six of Cups, sorry. <clears throat> Happy memories. Happy memories. What is it that brought you joy? What has what what drives you? What's your authentic self? What have you always wanted to do? This is happy childhood memories. This is something from the past catching up with you. Something you've wanted to do in the past that has, the timing hasn't been quite right. It's now time to do that. It's now time to achieve that. It's now time to bring that into your um, reality. Bring that look at the sunrise a new day is dawning new ideas new potential is it a promotion is it a new job is it some another string to your bow what is it that you're wanting to do here in the month of may you're going to be driven by that and when i say you're going to be driven by that you've got the chariot you're in control of the intensity that this change is coming in You've got control over um, the direction you're moving in. You're facing your fears. You're facing that shadow self. You're bringing it into alignment. There's absolutely nothing to fear. There is such energy behind you. There is such energy around you. Um, this is you moving forward with your ideas. Who's writing a book? Who's writing a book or doing some sort of production? That is, it's also a good month to put that into play, to start utilising that, start pushing that forward. You've also got the King of Cups, being in control of your intuition, being in control of your emotions, being in control of your passion and what you want to do, knowing that um, this could be to do with a relationship. You're, you're feeling strong about it. You're feeling confident about it. Um, it, it's time to move that forward, take it to the next level. It's also about something you feel passionate about. You're, you know it's going to be, you're going to achieve it. It's going to work. On an emotional level, you feel strong, you feel strength. Emotions are about water, aren't they? And so you're feeling very confident about the direction you're moving in, my lovely Gemini. 
how does that um, transpire into your reality? You've got the you've got the ten of cups. The ten, sorry, the ten of wands. The ten of wands is about um, so you're feeling emotionally strong, and so now it's time to realize that the every the the obstacles you've had, the the issues you've had, anything you've had to overcome, you're leaving that behind. You're unburdening yourself. This is a turning point here for you, my lovely Gemini. Moving forward, building something new building something strong look at that house in the background there that's about security and love and strength and comfort what does that represent for you is it a relationship is it a career is it your personal growth is it how strong you're feeling about yourself and what you want to achieve let me see this I've just noticed this loyalty there's those around you that Look at the dog, loyalty. Dogs represent loyalty. That's another part of your totem, loyalty. Whatever has transpired in the past, understand that you've grown from it. Look at the growth on those, on those uh, wands. So while you might have thought, oh, this is a burden that I'm needing to carry, this is a cross I'm needing to bear, there has been growth from that. It could be a job that you've been in that you have not liked at all, but you've persevered because you've learnt skills and, and gained knowledge and experience from that situation. And so there's wisdom that has been gained by that. It could be um, struggles in a relationship. You know, the initial stages of a relationship can sometimes be rather rather difficult, rather tough, until you learn to live it by, with each other and work together. And it, there's growth there. There's personal growth. could be spiritual growth. If you've been meditating, connecting with your guides, connecting with spirit, it's, there's expansion, there's growth here. It's coming from things that have happened in the past. I like that because then you're moving on to the empress. Beautiful. This is independence. This is growth. This is potential. What plans do you have? What do you want to build? Money you want to save? Uh, something you're working towards? Something you're planning? Is it your career? Is it your relationships? Is it uh, your personal development, personal growth? There's prosperity, there's expansion, there's nourishment, there's growth. There's a new, is it a new business? Tremendously positive time is coming up for you, filled with potential. The, the enormity of it is going to depend on how much you want to bring in, how much change you want to bring in. You might want to just take little baby steps and that's okay too. Little changes, tweaking your life, building something more solid, building something that is, is more to your liking. Is it a promotion you're going for? Is it a business that you're expanding, a new idea that you have? A book you're going to publish, what is it for you? Who's the photographer? Who's the photographer? There's potential here. There's some sort of turning point coming. <clears throat> There's some sort of turning point coming for you. You've also got, you know, you've got the Empress, which is expansion and new things coming, but there's also the death card. And the death is mm, an, old way of, the, an old way of thinking. I don't want to think like that anymore. Anything that's been limiting you, anything that's been holding you back, it's about releasing that. <clears throat> You've got the, the white flower, which is about spirituality and growth, rebirth. So with the death card, there's always rebirth. Um, but the potential, the, the growth starts first and then you start looking at, well, what don't I need in my life? What do I need? I need to make some space. What can I release? What can I release around me? My lovely Gemini, you've also got the Hierophant. This is about religion, spirituality, faith, belief, belief in yourself, belief in others, belief in, in a, higher, a higher realm, um, a source, God, whatever it is. But there's a connection with that higher realm. There is a belief and a faith in yourself as well. We all carry the spark of God within us. And so there's a belief in that as well. A belief in who you are and a belief in your potential. You've got the lovers here. This is a, this is a relationship that's taking that going to that next step. There's marriage or children, uh, living in, moving in together, whatever it is. But this is soul, a soulmate connection. 
So if you're you're with someone, that that relationship's going to strengthen. If you're single and would like to meet someone, there's tremendous potential here. That might be what you're building in May, what you're working towards in May. What changes do you need to break? What cycles do you need to break? Changes you need to make. This is also the card of karma. This is meeting um, people, soulmates, people that are meant to be in your, your path at this particular point in time. doesn't need to be a relationship. It can be friendships. It can be situations as well. Excuse me while I have some water. It could be situations as well. <clears throat> what is it for you? that karmic connection, that karmic connection. You've also got the Knight of Cups. So as you move towards the end of May, it's time to take action. It's time to really put things in place it, for June, it, bringing in and cementing those changes, bringing in what you're wanting, what you've now got the courage to move forward to, what you're building, <clears throat> what you're doing. <clears throat> I'm going to draw a card from the Divine Abundance deck. Let's have a look. Surrender. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> surrender. Sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying. Certain things are dying. When you surrender, it's about releasing things that you're struggling to hold on to that are not needed, that are not necessary, that are not important. The ego learns what's hardest, to stop trying to control the whole universe. And this comes, comes back to riding that crest of the wave, that water, going with the flow. Absolutely. Soaring the heights. So surrendering that resistance, surrendering that pushback. <clears throat> and that's the death card. You know, when you surrender, you think, no, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to just go with the flow, see what, what comes, what synchronicities come. And there will be a lot of synchronicities for you, my lovely Gemini. <clears throat> I wish you love, light and many blessings. <clears throat> If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there. Many blessings to you, my lovely Gemini. <clears throat>